this video, we're going to discuss the processes by which behavior influences attitudes, focusing on the foot in the door technique and role playing effects. The foot in the door technique is when a persuader attempts to get an individual to agree to a large request by first having them agree to a smaller request. The idea here is that if you can get a person to agree to a small request, then they will be more likely to agree to a larger request. This has been demonstrated in many studies. As one example, housewives were asked to allow a team of five to six men to enter their home to classify the household products that they used. This is the large request. Some of the women were first asked to answer a few questions on the phone about the household products they used. This is the smaller request. As it turns out, the women that participated in the smaller request, the phone survey, were more likely to agree to the larger request, allowing the team of five or six men to enter their home, as compared to women that did not participate in the phone survey. As another example, one which is not quite as obvious, people are more likely to call a cab after drinking if they first signed a petition against drunk driving. So in this case, the larger task is to call a cab after drinking, and the smaller task is signing a petition against drunk driving. So by getting people to sign a petition against drunk driving, they are more likely to call a cab after drinking. Okay. So this is the foot in the door technique. Next, we'll go over role playing effects. Role playing can have strong influences on an individual's attitudes, values, and behavior. One of the most famous examples or experiments demonstrating this is the Stanford prison experiment, which is highly controversial. In this study, students were asked to participate in a prison simulation and were randomly assigned as prisoners or prison guards. As the study conductors found, the participants adapted extremely quickly to their roles. So the prison guards very quickly began to use authoritarian measures and subjected the prisoners to psychological torture. So some examples are using physical punishments, forcing prisoners to urinate or defecate in buckets in the cell, and sometimes they would punish them by refusing to empty their buckets, or removing the mattresses from the prisoners and forcing them to sleep on concrete. And on the other end, you have the prisoners who began to passively accept the torture and even harass other prisoners who tried to stop it. So here you can see how by role playing, you can have really strong influences on the attitudes, values, and behaviors of individuals.